We want to talk about solutions. Solutions, what are they? They're homogeneous mixtures, homogeneous mixtures. Most of the time we talk about a solid being dissolved into a liquid, like putting salt into water makes salt water. The ocean is a solution. But it could also refer to one liquid that is miscable. That's the word that means it fully mixes in with another liquid. So for example, when alcohol is produced industrially from a fermentation process, even if we filter out all of the yeast that produced the alcohol, um, the alcohol is in a watery mix. And you can't tell the alcohol from the water. The only way you could separate them is by distillation because they have different boiling points. But they're fully mixed together. It's a complete solution. Uh, we could also talk in some ways that gases can be solutions, like the air is a solution of nitrogen and oxygen and carbon dioxide and a whole bunch of small trace amounts of other gases. But for our purposes, we're going to really focus on solids that are dissolved in liquids and solutions that are already made that we need to dilute down for our own use. So a couple of key terms here. When we make a solution, there are two parts. The thing that is getting dissolved and the thing doing the dissolving. So the thing getting dissolved is the salute or the salute. I've heard it said both ways, mm -hmm. tomato, tomato, whatever you like. And the thing doing this dissolving, which is the thing in a larger proportion, is the solvent. So we've got salute, solvent, those are the two components of a mixture that make this homogeneous situation called a solution. So if we have a mixture, our big concern is going to be about concentration. How concentrated, how strong is this mixture? How much solute is there? And there are a number of ways to measure this. But the one that we're going to focus on the most is molarity. Some of the others include things like parts per thousand or parts per million, ppm, uh, or percent. And often the percent is percent by mass of the solute versus the overall solution. But molarity is the one that we're going to use most often. And molar or molarity is the moles of solute per liter of solution. So that includes the solute and the solvent together, the total volume. So, for example, if I wanted to make up a half molar solution of sodium chloride, salt water, I would have to put, what that means is I'm going to put a half a mole of salt dissolved into a total volume of one liter, including the salt once it dissolves, even though it's not going to add too much in the way of volume. So I need to know, since this is a solid, I, I don't measure things out in moles, I measure them out in grams. So I'd get my balance out, a little weighing boat, get my sodium chloride, and I would weigh out a half a mole. Well, a half a mole, the molar mass of sodium chloride, you can go work that up and check me, is 58.44 grams. And so that's one mole, but I only need half a mole, so I do a little bit of conversion here and figure out, well, I need to weigh out 27.72 grams of salt. So I weigh that out. Great. How do I make the solution? Well, the best way to do this is to have a piece of glassware called a volumetric flask that is specifically calibrated to a set volume. So it only has one mark on it, and that one mark is for the total volume uh, that it's calibrated for. So I would go through the cupboard and find a uh, liter one, which would be a good size one if I had one of those lying around. It's round bottom. Well, it's round on the bottom, but it has flat, so it'll sit on, on a lab table and put some water so that the bulb part is partially filled, the round part is partially filled, add the salt that I've weighed out and stir it around a bit to dissolve the salt. And then continue to add water up to the one liter mark and I will have exactly one liter of exactly 0.5 molar salt solution. If I wanted to make a smaller volume, I would have to also then adjust not just how much, what the mole amount I would need, but a smaller mole quantity because I'm going to have less solvent, less water. Okay? Which brings us to the issue of dilution. Let's say this is my stock solution, but I don't need a half mole or I need something smaller. 
Well, how do we determine or figure out how much of a stronger solution we need and then how much water we need to make it a weaker or less concentrated solution? Notice strong and weak are very loose terms. Better to say more concentrated and less concentrated. So we have a nice little formula here. Molarity times volume in the initial state has to equal molarity times volume at the end. In other words, we need to know that the, for the concentration to change, we need to figure out you know, where we're going, how many moles we're going to get and put into a larger volume of solvent, most of the time water. So pretty standard type situation here. Let's say I need to make 500 milliliters, a half a liter, of a solution of hydrochloric acid and the hydrochloric acid concentration, I want it to be a quarter molar, a quarter of a mole in every liter. I'm not even making a liter, I'm only making half a liter. When I go into the back room and go into the acid cabinet, I have stock solution, and stock solution for HCl by standard is 12 molar. Like full strength hydrochloric acid is 12 molar, 12 moles per liter. Okay, well how much of that stuff do I need to measure out by volume? And then add to water to dilute it down so that I have just 500 milliliters of just 0.250 molar HCl. Well, I'm starting with 12 molar. How much of that, what volume will I need to have the right number of moles? Well, the other side of the equation is going to tell me what's the right number of moles I need. So I'm trying to make a quarter molar solution, moles per liter, and a half liter of it Notice the liters will cancel, and I only need 0.125 molar of, uh, excuse me, 0.125 moles of the HCl in the mix. Well, since I'm starting with 12 moles per liter, do a little algebra, I figure out I only need 10.4 milliliters of that stock solution. So how would I create this solution? After I do the math, is I would probably use a very small, narrow, graduated cylinder, like a 25 milliliter one, perhaps, because I'm going a little over 10. Use it to measure out the 10.4 milliliters of the stock acid solution under a fume hood with proper eye protection. I would also have, preferably, a 500 milliliter volumetric flask which I put some water into, because you always do what you ought to. You add the acid to the water, because diluting down an acid is an exothermic process. It gives off heat. So you want to make sure there's water already available to absorb some of that heat so that the, the vessel doesn't get hot when you add a small amount of water to the acid. So you always add, start with some water, add the acid to it, and then continue to dilute down to the mark that says it's 500 milliliters. And then you would have a solution of 0.025. And that's how you do the math to dilute.